Welcome to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. We're taking a look at the Orthus Canis Knee Brace. I got this off of Amazon for 50 bucks. They have all different sizes. They have them for the right and the left. I got Blue Dog a small one. He tore the ligament in his knee. So we're going to go ahead and try this. Uh, when I was checking the price of this, I know $50 is a lot of money. Good news is for some, no matter what size it is, it's always $50. Uh, bad news for some is no matter what size it is, it's always $50. But we're going to go ahead, put this on. And I mainly got this for going on car rides, you know, because he's been kind of mopey. Because he really hasn't been going for car rides because he ain't supposed to be jumping around and stuff. And I did ask my vet, and I know if you ask 100 vets, you're going to get 105 different responses. But my vet liked the idea. She just said, don't keep it on for too long. At the max, 12 hours on. No, then 12 hours off. Make sure it doesn't get wet or anything. So let's go ahead, give this a try. It's made out of neoprene. It's kind. It's it, it's it's stretchy. Let's get your leg in here. I know, but I know it hurts. Now this is supposed to help with all kinds of different injuries, ACLUs, dislocated kneecaps. It's supposed to help with arthritis and that support. Just keep your leg nice and warm. So far it's going on somewhat easy. Sorry, but we're trying to be gentle. Now I know you ain't really getting a good view of this. But I'm more worried about getting him taken care of than having a class at a video right now. Hopefully everybody understands that. There we go. Let's turn you around so that everybody can see you. Yeah. Okay. It goes. I got it. Sorry, bud. I got it on. Okay. The bottom straps down here too. I got somewhat, somewhat snug, but not overly tight. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't pee on it. Let's stand up and see what it looks like. Probably be a little tighter, kind of, buddy. He. <laughs> He's Bambi on ice. You got, you got jokes sometimes, folks. I was trying to get a video of him walking, but this strap here kept sliding down, so I had to make that a little bit tighter. But when he sits down, you can see he kind of sits funny. Okay. But he was actually walking better. But what we're going to do, I know, buddy, it's hot. We're going to go here and get for a little car ride. Okay, it's been about, I think, eight weeks since he tore that ligament in his back leg. But the problem is, if you put this on, you guys safe, buddy? If you put this on, you put the strap around him, okay, like that, the strap kept sliding off. Now, you've seen that in the car. Well, I did see ones where they had a strap from here up to the harness, but what I was afraid of is this slides down. That's just going to choke him. And he had trouble walking with it on. But what it did help was when he was in the car riding, it kept it more stable. He could ride a little bit better. And that, that was the biggest treatment for him, getting out and getting some car rides. 
he is walking a little bit. Um, we're doing, I don't know, a few hundred feet, almost a quarter mile, which is a lot better than nothing. But yeah, he's recovering. As for the brace, it's going to be one of those things you're going to have to try, decide for yourself. I've seen online when they asked a vet, you'll, you'll have 100 vets tell you 105 different things. So I'm not going to give it a, a star rating at this point because it's going to be up to you and your dog and how it actually works. You know, it's, a, it's an option. Um, it doesn't look like he's going to require surgery, maybe just a little more time. Like I said, he is walking. He just kind of walks bow legged like a cowboy right now. And he's starting to go up and down stairs a little bit, but I'm trying to keep him from jumping. Okay, sorry for all the rambling. Do me a favor, click that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.